Three, two, one. Oh! 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 What's up, guys? Welcome to Rotor Ride. I'm Wes Flair C. And I'm Alex Vanover. Now, Alex is the fastest pilot that I know. He is so fast that there's no chance I would ever beat him in a race, right? So I made something new. <sighs> Check it out. Uh, <laughs> This is Turbo Drone. Interesting. <laughs> you have some pretty crazy projects, Sean. I was not expecting this, but once again, you it's, seem to surprise. It's really cool. So far, all I've done is hovered it, so I haven't actually got a chance to do anything cool with it yet, but I think it's gonna be pretty neat. I talked to Barwell about how to set up a flight controller to make a servo output. The ESC, the fifth ESC, is actually connected to a servo output on the flight controller, so when you flip a switch, the middle position is half throttle and the up position is full throttle. So I wanna beat you at a race. So <laughs> I'm gonna see if my little cheater drone can give me the advantage that I need. All right, so let's talk about the differences in our quad because yeah. there are some slight differences. Obviously you have a fifth motor. I don't have a fifth motor. This is the Rotorite CL1 VS, which stands for Vanny Style. I worked with Drew at Rotorite to basically make a more sleek and aerodynamic version of the CL1 that's ultra lightweight, much more stiff than the original version. And, yeah. and it's a little bit different though than this up here. This is the HD1. Right, this is the HD1. I uh, actually put the HD1 frame with your arms and your motors, so it's almost identical, but the middle section is actually a little bit fatter, or longer, I should say, uh, and that gives me a little bit further to stick the motor out towards the back a little bit. I do think, though, if just going on a racing track or in a drag race where our quads are tilted like this, I think if you can get the angle of this just right, I think you'll definitely. But yeah, I did make this mount adjustable so that I could actually match the camera angle so that when I am tilted up like this, these motors will be acting against gravity and actually pulling the quad forward. And this one's just gonna be pushing it forward. I don't know if I can even handle the speed through the course, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. All right, line of sight flying. Test. All right, so we're just hovering. It just looks cool. It does the... look really cool. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, oh my God, what oh, the? Whoa. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> that didn't work at all. I just gotta change the prop though, it's okay. So I, was I haven't actually tried to go full throttle yet from zero to full throttle, and I just went zero to full throttle and it freaked out. And I think <laughs> because it gave it this direction, it wasn't expecting it, the flight controller probably freaked out. So I'm gonna try to give it half throttle, because I can flip the switch to the middle position and only give it half throttle. And then if that works, maybe I'll switch to full throttle, we'll see. All right, here we go. I'll probably stand back. Three, two, one. There we go. Oh, that was pretty cool. There we go, that worked, that worked. That was pretty cool. It did. <laughs> It's so cool. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> so cool. I want to try it. You want to try it? I want to try it. Oh my gosh. It's, it's so, so cool. cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not, I have it's zero like throttle. An airplane, Look, I have zero throttle. I have zero throttle. What? Zero throttle. No Look way. Look at the throttle. Oh my it's gosh. That's throttle. so crazy. Is it like flying an airplane? Oh, a little bit. I wonder if you can go full throttle. Oh no, it's too soft. Oh, oh. <laughs> he saved it. He saved it. <laughs> well, I don't know how I saved that, but. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll do it again. So, it's like an airplane. Hold <laughs> 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 on. It's so cool. That's oh zero throttle. That is so funny. <laughs> that is so insane. How is that Paul? Oh, my God. <laughs> there we go. That's not even full. That's half of the back power. Oh no, oh wrong boy. switch. Wrong switch. I'm just disarming. <laughs> this is so funny. That was 50% throttle on the switch. I know, we haven't even gotten full yet. Zero throttle and it was just Oh my gosh. I, I think that if we get the camera angle actually correct. The motor angle. The, yeah, if we get the rear motor, <laughs> motor angle, angle. To, match the, to match the camera angle, then when we give it full throttle, it won't react as badly because it's going to yeah. go in the right direction, you know? Uh, I want to see the drag race. It's time for the drag. I want to see if Sean can beat Alex Vanover. So you're going to start by the Frisbee golf thing. Three, two, one, straight line. And then just going past that gate is the finish line. So today we're using the DJI Digital FPV system. What's nice about that is for the first time in FPV drones, we're flying in high definition. It makes it much easier to fly through a race course or freestyle around some trees or some buildings. Just really makes the experience a lot more enjoyable. We have the Cadex uh, Vista, which is the not only FPV video transmitter, but it's also the RC controller receiver. So we're using the DJI radio as well. 
overall it makes the combo super sleek, easy to wire up, and really no failure points. I'll uh, just Venmo you. Yeah, Venmo works. Yeah. So what I've done on the quad is I actually removed the bottom two screws so I could crank the camera angle up. So this is about a 45 degree angle. It's gonna allow me to fly much faster. I'll still be looking at the ground a little bit, but not very much. In the yellow corner, we've got Captain Vanover, fastest real drone pilot in the world. <laughs> Don't give him a sim. In the orange corner, we've got Let's Fly RC. Has to build a cheater to even have a chance of keeping up. Who will win this Titan throwdown? I think Skull is out of a job. Ready to take off? Taking off. Okay, on your marks. Get set, go. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh man, I'm keeping up with you. Three, two, one by like a, a little bit. A little bit. Oh, I go back, go back, go back. Yeah, let's do it again. You want to do it again? Dude, I yeah. did trail you though for a good set. Like I was on you. I just couldn't <laughs> catch you. On your mark. Get set, go. Okay, I'll see you now. Oh, oh you passed me out there. <laughs> I think Alex had you, but you were catching up. Yeah, Hold on, yeah, let's go back again. Let's go back for a third. <laughs> Are you just boosting right away? No, I boosted in the middle. Okay, just boost right away. Okay. On your mark, get set, go, and boost! Boost! Oh, oh your sound's yeah. faster. Whoa! Okay. I gotta remember to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> I could see your shadow in my FPV feed. I felt like your shadow well, was catching, catching up. Me. Yeah, I felt like your shadow was catching. Yeah, I think one of the times I beat you, but I'm not sure if I. Oh, did you not. beat him one time. Yeah, for sure. Okay. He's at a slight disadvantage in weight, and he's obviously at an advantage in power with the boost. Regardless, the no, boost I is just doing think something. Alex is so much. Yeah, better at flying that fast. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I just think keeping up with Alex is hard, even if you have turbo boost. Yeah. I think what we need to do then, set it up so it's Vanover versus Vanover. So we should set up a course, and Alex should run it once with no turbo boost, and then run it again and see if he can actually improve his time using okay. the boost. I'm thinking that the turbo, if I can get used to being able to like, flip the switch while I'm flying, I think uh, during the actual like course itself, it's gonna be really hard to fly. But when I hit the straightaways, I think I'm gonna be able to really get going fast with it. So. Okay, so what Alex is doing right now is he is changing the rates on the drone. So rates are something that change how the drone responds to the stick. How much the drone moves given a relative stick position. Every pilot has their own preferences, some like a little more responsive, some like the drone to be a little bit softer. What's really nice about this setup is that if you're trading off the drones, uh, you can change the setup right using the goggles. Normally changing these settings requires a computer and you need to use a program called Betaflight and go in and all this stuff, but with the DJI goggles it's really nice. You can just use the menus in there to change the rates to the ones that you like. It's, it's a little bit slower than using the computer, but it's really convenient when you need to make quick adjustments out in the field. So I got the DJI screen here. I'm able to see everything that Alex sees in real time. Anyway, this DJI screen will allow me to be able to see my stopwatch and see Alex's flight at the same time. I'll be able to time his laps. It does have a lap option, so Are I can actually call it laps. Out? Yeah, okay. that with turbo boost? I don't know. I, I think I'm so used to the way my normal like five inch quad with like my PIDs and everything flies. However, I think when I hit the sweeper, as long as I can keep it smooth on the course, just normally flying it, I think when I hit the straights with the turbo boost, I think I might be able to beat the time. Well, I'm actually very excited about it. Draggy. 
<laughs> it's supposed to be using the boost. Now he's using the boost. You can hear it. Oh, oh he doesn't like it. <laughs> oh my god. No. Alright, okay. lap two. Lap. <laughs> that was 24.7 seconds. <laughs> Here we go. Arm. Here we go. Start. Ah! It's so <laughs> You're blowing past the power loop. Thank you, Captain Obvious. It's on. Oh no. I tried turning it on. <laughs> Here we go. On. Oh no. <laughs> you powered right into the ground. <laughs> I, that was a really long lap. <laughs> I gotta say this though. When I was just in the sweeper, I turned it on and I didn't feel like I was going faster. We have almost identical quads, but when I'm flying this one, like just without the boost on, yeah, like it just feels like I'm having to really try hard to get it through all the, it feels heavier. Yeah, it's probably because the drag, when you don't have the boost on, it's almost like you'd have to have the boost on the whole time to make it useful. Yeah, like with the boost on, it was controllable until I turned. <laughs> so <laughs> well, yeah, we need to make a simpler course. So let's just try <laughs> a turtle? an oval. Like all the way around all the yeah, trees. that's the plan. I'm just gonna yeah. do an oval around these that trees. That way you can go full throttle, turn off, full throttle, turn off, you know? Yeah. Right, here we go. Go, boom. Lap one. Lap two. two. Three. That was 15.1 seconds. That's incredibly consistent. Yeah, it was like five, five, five. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's vibrating. Ready? I'm ready. All right, we started. Lap one. Is the boost on? Oh my god! 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 It's working! It has to be so fast! Come on! Come on! 15.01! Oh, are you kidding me? 15.01! I have it up for another run. Wait, that was half though. That was only half throttle. So what do you mean that was only half throttle? Oh, you didn't do it all the way? No, I didn't do it all the way. Okay. Right, all the way. Oh, ready? Go. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that was so fast! I can do it, I can do it, I just need to get I need to get used to oh my god, the tiny god. movement you made on pitch. It was so fast. This was a, I couldn't believe how fast it was going, and that was only half. I was, I was shocked, I genuinely thought at half. I literally saw it was the turbo boost. Slower. Like I didn't think I would see it no. at BB, but I saw the boost. So it was a hair faster. Oh yeah. It felt faster. Like it felt like going around the trees. It was I noticeably was faster in the video. Like I could see it like bolt forward. It was crazy. I adjusted the motor angle, so I tilted it more. So I try to match it somewhat with my camera angle. I know I'm gonna be looking at the ground a little it bit. It probably changed a little bit when you hit the ground, because every did. now and it then did. we hit the ground and it kind of changes its angle. We have to readjust. Yeah. I want to try it in the air to Count see. Count us down on the turbo. Hold on, I want to try it. Oh, oh my god. god. So all right, all right, all right. It's possible. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Half one. <laughs> I'm adjusting it. Half turbo, full turbo. Oh wow, last two. Half turbo, full turbo. Half turbo, full turbo. Half turbo, full turbo. Half turbo, full turbo. Okay, well I did get to fly it though. I did actually hang in there. That I was mean, worse. It's so much faster though. Why is it worse? It's probably because he's not it's turning as smooth. I can't. I can't. Turn. Let me try another one. Let well, me try one. Well, he did it good. It is clear. Here, reset, reset. He's gonna do another three. Oh! <laughs> oh it's done now. <laughs> oh my God. Let's go see if it's really done. Uh, this is a true test. <laughs> <laughs> All the carbon is perfectly fine. But it we ripped the, oh, what dang. is this? Look at this. The it screw ripped it. out of the mount. I just want everyone to see the carbon is perfectly fine. Oh my god! I just want everyone to see that. Then you stop. Carbon. Where did you hit? I'm just saying. <laughs> Most girl. Oh my god! <laughs> is that, is, wow! Is, is this what you did? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this! It's, it's like metal. Oh this is rebar. Oh my god! With, are you sure that's where you I'm 100 sure. Was it like that before? Yes. No, 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 no. Like sorry, it was before. not. I promise. It was not like no, that. Before. I fixed no. this today. It was not like that before. That's what he just did. He just did this. There's no <laughs> way. Oh my! It's broken. <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! It's cracked! Oh my gosh. The turbo mechanism is a little, 
Yeah, it's done. Oh, it broke. The stack? Oh, the stack is... Holy crap, the stack screws are bent. Oh my gosh. The impact, Are you wow. kidding me? You broke the stack screws. <laughs> yeah, I hit it at Mach 6. <laughs> John works for, for weeks in advance of you pilots coming in. He knows Vanover's coming. Oh, I gotta build something cool. I gotta build something exciting. I gotta make it special for Vanover. Vanover shows up one day. Bam! That's what you do. Oh, come on. That's what you do. So, Sean, I, I broke the build that you made for me. I'm sorry, but I had a lot of fun flying and I'm very thankful because it was a whole new experience for me and I don't know about you, but I had a lot of fun flying. This thing was crazy. I'm super excited about how fast it went. I can't believe how much difference the motor made. I didn't think it was going to do that much difference, but it was insane. Yeah, I think once we got the angle right that last time around on the motor, you could really see the speed of it in the straights. The problem is it just got really hard to do corners. If yeah. I was trying to turn it on and off, and actually I could get into a rhythm of doing so, but it is a little bit distracting that makes it hard to the flight type. I could see that, yeah. I could see it being distracting trying to remember to hit the switch at the right time. And you have to, if you got it timed perfectly to where you could flip it on during the straightaways and turn it off right before you turn, it might be beneficial. Well, guys, that was Nitro Drone for you. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. If this is something you want to see us maybe revisit in the future, leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think. What would you have done different? What would you think we did wrong? I'm very, very curious. I could have flown it better, I'm sure, but I had a lot of fun doing it, and I hope you guys had fun watching it. I'm Les Flyer C. And I'm Alex Vanover. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Be sure to go check out the Road Riot store where you could buy this frame. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Don't, don't forget, forget the, the bell! Don't forget the bell. Don't forget, don't the, forget bell. the bell. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Woo!